Janet, are you ready to go to hell? Susan, what have you been doing all this time? You suddenly left our parents' house and I haven't heard from you for two years. I mean, what the hell are you talking about? What have I been doing for the last two years? Of course, I've been preparing to take revenge on you. What? Revenge on me? That's right. I just don't hate you. I hate our mother and father, too. Don't tell me you've forgotten what you did to me two years ago. Our mother tricked me, made it sound like you and my baby didn't exist, and how must that hurt me? Wait a minute. What are you talking about? I really don't get it. You got remarried, didn't you? What? No, I didn't. Oh, dear. You shouldn't lie. I know exactly what you did. Because I... I stole your husband again. What? Actually, I'm on an overseas trip with that husband of yours. Huh? The guys you choose fall for me easily. This time, I'm gonna become a wife of a rich man. I'm telling you, I didn't remarry. I warned you not to lie, didn't I? You got robbed again, so you're screwed. Hey, why are you so obsessed with me? Hmm? Besides going out of your way to target married men. I'm not purposely going after married men. When I see them as your husband, I just want to take them away from you. Huh? Two years ago, I was about to divorce my first husband and our marriage wasn't going well. And you? You are a housewife in a big house and you spend every day with a look of happiness on your face. Just seeing you like that disgusted me. So I decided to take your place. Is that why you took away my husband, Bob? Just for that? Just for that? That's more than enough reason for me. And that's not all. Ever since I was a child, my parents hated me. They always favored you over me. They gave you a big allowance because you were a little better at studying. You even went to a good university. I haven't gotten any allowance since I was a kid and they didn't buy me anything. They didn't even let me go to college. So I had to start working after high school. As a result, you got to meet your well-educated and rich husband in college, but I could only marry a low-income, low-educated, abusive husband. You know, we had a family meeting about that two years ago, and I explained it to you, didn't I? When we were kids, I earned my allowance by helping with the dishes or something. You did nothing. Our parents got ready for your college tuition, too. You skipped school, and your practice exams were so bad that you gave up and refused to apply. It's your fault that you didn't get into any college. Our parents gave us an equal chance. You abandoned it, and now you're in the situation you're in, and you're taking it out on your family. Besides, your father is now... Shut up! You've been spoiled so much, you don't understand. That's why I took your husband away from you, to torture you. And yet, I was interrupted by an evil old woman who abandoned her only son to protect her daughter-in-law. You mean my mother-in-law? Yes, that's right. If that woman wasn't around, I would be a comfortable a wife of a rich company president now. My parents wouldn't cover for me either, so I left home. For the past two years, I've been in the depth of poverty and unhappiness. They told me they wouldn't let me see my kids anymore 
just because I didn't pay my child support on time. I mean, you... Didn't you and Bob officially get married? We did, but he cheated on me after six months and we broke up right away. That's why I'm all alone now. I feel like you deserved it. Shut up! You don't understand what I'm going through. Yeah, you're right, I don't. Why did you blame Mom and Dad and myself for your failed marriage? Why don't you reflect on yourself and live a decent life? I will when my revenge is over. But after that, I'll say goodbye to my life of poverty. Your second husband is rich again. And I'm the one who took him away from you again. <laughs> I told you I hadn't remarried. Of course you did. You're so good at this, aren't you? Your mother-in-law was like a savior for you, and now you've betrayed her. What? I would never betray my mother-in-law. She's like a real mother to me now. How could I betray such a wonderful person? And yet you wear a mask to deceive and flatter her. You're funny, you know that? You seem to enjoy looking down on me, but in the end, you're just another black-hearted bitch. I'm going to put you through hell, so get ready for it. I don't know what you think you're doing, but it doesn't hurt me to keep hearing stories that I didn't do. Huh? I'll give you a word of advice. What you're doing is nothing but you're purely out of resentment. Also, you're so mistaken that you're completely off. I suggest you come down and take a look at your situation. Hmm, thanks for the useless advice. I've decided that I won't fail this time. So, there's no problem. That's why. Because I took your husband away again. This time, I'm going to be a rich wife and make up with my parents who have cut ties with me. I keep telling you, I didn't remarry. I'm going back home in a week. You better get ready to be a divorcee again. We are in trouble. Susan, who has been out of sight for two years, has finally shown up. What? She is still alive? And she looks just fine. She hasn't changed at all and was sarcastic. She declared war on me again. Yes? Declare war? Well, do you have a boyfriend? No, I'm not seeing anyone or even liking anyone. But she is saying she stole him again. Yes. What's that? Yes, I don't know either. I was certain she thought I had remarried. That she would take my husband once again and revenge what I did to her two years ago. I don't know what to say. I've always thought she was a crazy woman, but I wonder if she's finally lost her cognitive abilities as well. I told her I had never remarried, but she wouldn't listen to me at all. So... And then, she is currently traveling abroad with someone whom she thinks married me. They are coming back in a week. Oh well, at least we won't get hurt until then. But still... Oh my god, really, that predatory bitch. I can't believe she's still obsessed with you. It really pisses me off. Ellen, thank you so much for being angry on my behalf. What are you talking about? We adopted you and we are family. Of course I worry about my daughter. Yes, thank you very much. Anyway, 
Since she showed up, we'll have to figure out a way to deal with her. I don't know how she's going to revenge. We have to teach her a lesson that it's us who really want to take revenge. Two years ago, she suddenly disappeared, and we are not happy about it. You just take it easy, okay? Yes, I'll do that. Susan, our mother is in critical condition. Huh? I don't know where you are right now, but you need to come to the city hospital right away. I'm out of the state right now, and my mother-in-law is rushing to the hospital instead. Oh, that's what you mean! <laughs> huh? Hey, you know that? I think your mother-in-law knows you're betraying her. You're being set up by your mother-in-law. What? What do you mean? I'm telling you. You stole her husband, and now I'm stealing him from you. In other words, your mother-in-law considers both of us as her enemies. That's why she's deceiving you. If you go to the hospital, you'll get stabbed. Wait a minute. Are you trying to say that I remarried my father-in-law? That's what I'm saying. I think your mother-in-law finally realized that she got divorced without her knowledge and her husband remarried to his daughter-in-law, who she never thought he would. What are you saying? Don't you know that it's legally impossible in the first place? Huh? My father-in-law also said he's going to leave work early and rush to the hospital. There's absolutely no way what you're talking about happened. Another lie. That father-in-law is on an overseas trip with me right now. Well, anyway, our mother is in critical condition. She's been telling me for a while that she misses you, even though you think you cut ties with her. So, you have to cut your trip short and get back home as soon as possible. When your father was... I don't believe that! Bye-bye! Susan! Janet, are you alive? You didn't get stabbed by that evil old woman and die, did you? I'm back home now. He wants to marry me soon, you know. So, please make up your mind to divorce him as soon as possible. His family's inheritance will be mine now. <laughs> you are still a scab, Susan. Huh? You can't mean... Yes, as you can imagine, it's me, Ellen. Wait, why? You don't seem to believe Janet at all. I thought I should tell you. You're still taking her side after she betrayed you? What are you talking about? She didn't betray me. She gets along with my husband as well as ever. What are you talking about? Your ex-husband is sitting next to me now. Janet's husband is mine. In other words, your ex-husband is mine too. Huh? You're so frustrated, you can't say anything. Poor old woman. No, I was just stunned. You stupidly misunderstood the situation. The guy you're with is my husband's twin brother. That is, my brother-in-law. What? We haven't seen each other for about a year since we moved to another part of the country. Huh? Twin brother? Brother-in-law? What do you mean, moved? What about that house that Bob used to live? My brother-in-law and his wife live there now. What? His wife's name is on the lease. His wife? By the way, she runs a beauty clinic, so even though she's in her late 40s, she looks like she's in her 30s. And coincidentally, 
She and Janet have a very similar vibe. Uh. Well, let me guess a little. You had an affair with my brother-in-law about a year ago, right? But neither we nor Janet have been in the vicinity of that house for a year. You must be kidding! That means you mistook my husband's dream brother-in-law and his wife as Janet. Is that right? Well, then I took the wrong person? That's what it means. No way! Also, his wife knows you are having an affair with him. What? While you two were taking a leisurely trip abroad, I heard she had hired a very good lawyer. Lawyer? My brother-in-law just came home and she slapped him with a demand for alimony and divorce papers. That's already happened? Of course, she's going to demand alimony from you as well. You better brace yourself. That's fine. I'll have him pay for me. I'm sure he has money if he's one of your family members. He's the eldest son, so I'm sure he inherited a lot of money. No, he didn't. My brother-in-law is unemployed. He did get an inheritance from his father, but I'm sure it's already been used up. I think it's more likely that he's in debt. What? When he was younger, he started his own company because he admired his father, who was a businessman. But he was a catastrophically inept manager. He should have just given up before the losses mounted. He wanted to impress his wife, who had a talent for running a business, so he tried to rebuild the company by pouring all of his inheritance into it. He failed and went bankrupt with huge debt. Oh! By then, his wife's beauty clinic had already taken off, so he lost all motivation to work. He's been a pimp ever since. What? But she takes the action quickly. She has already found a place for him to live and work, and he's gonna get picked up tomorrow. She knows what she's doing. Wait a minute! Don't tell me he's been paying for all those dates and overseas trips from... It looks like he's been using his wife's money without permission. No way! Oh, yeah. Tens of thousands of dollars he spent on you. They're gonna calculate it and charge it along with the alimony. I hope you'll repay them. Huh? And this is the most important part. Janet will also demand alimony from you. Huh? Now? If it's been less than three years since she found out about the affair, she can file a claim for alimony. What? What's that? How much will they charge me in total? Well, let's see. I think it'll be $200,000 in total. $200,000? That's so unfair! Yes, of course. I'm charging my son, too. What? He asked Janet to get back with him two months ago. Of course she refused. He just paid for alimony and child support for the two kids in one lump sum. You're evil! Whatever you say, you did a terrible thing to my daughter-in-law and you deserve it. What? Why? If I knew that it would turn out like this, I wouldn't have done anything! And then, we are in the middle of your mother's funeral. What? I mean, it's already been two hours. Your mother should have been cremated by now. Wait a minute! 
No way! Was that true, too? Didn't you get a call from Janet informing you of her critical condition? She did, but I thought you were lying to set us up. That's why you didn't come. Your mother heard that you had come back. She said she wanted to talk to you again. She became ill after your father passed away. She said she regrets that she should have talked more with you. Oh, wait! What do you mean your father died? What did that mean? After you disappeared two years ago, he felt responsible for raising an irresponsible daughter, and he fell ill. He passed away just like that. You're kidding! Then, your mother also became mentally and physically ill and started taking it out on Janet. After discussing it, we decided to adopt Janet into our family. Over the next two years, your mother gradually got better. I'm so sorry to hear that she had a sudden change in health and passed away. Wait, so my father's inheritance will be mine, right? Janet is no longer my father's child. All of it will be mine, right? Well, I'm not rich like you guys, but I can inherit twenty or thirty thousand dollars, right? That's right. There was about fifty thousand dollars in deposit alone. Fifty thousand dollars! Yes! That's all to be donated according to the will. Huh? Donation? Why? If you had rushed to your mother's sick bed, you would have inherited it. Not only did you not show up, you assumed it was a lie from the start and didn't even worry about it. Your mother was disappointed when she found out. She decided to donate the money and put it to good use instead of giving it to you. Oh no! It's my money! She shouldn't have done it without asking me! Well then, that's all I heard. Wait a minute! What is this? Am I going to have to live in poverty and take on debt again? And my parents are gone! I thought being rich would make them forgive me for everything! I just want to be happy! You can't become happy at the expense of someone else's happiness. Huh? If you don't understand, think until you do. You must realize it yourself. Now, if you'll excuse me. I don't understand! What is it? Tell me why I can't be happy! That night, Susan came running into my parents' house where everyone gathered for the funeral. Thinking she was going to apologize for everything she did, she screamed, Give me back my $50,000! Of course, they kicked her out of the house and her relatives and friends made up their minds to cut ties with her. I, unfortunately, could not make it to my mother's last moment, but my mother-in-law and father-in-law took care of her, and they explained everything to Susan. Susan, who was burdened with $200,000 in debt, seemed to plan to disappear again. She was caught by my father-in-law's twin brother, who was also in debt and unemployed, and she reluctantly started living with him. However, the man who is used to having a lifestyle as a pimp has Susan earned money at nightclub while he himself remains unemployed. Since he is home all the time, he only monitors her closely, and Susan says she can't escape even if she wanted to. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video!